Adapting. Adapting is going to be the key focal point of this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Joe aka Hitch, and welcome to a real talk type of video. Today's video I want to talk about adapting and video games and life, whatever works, but for me I'm going to use fighting games. In the background you're going to see some Dragon Ball Fighters gameplay from me playing a set versus other dude I met online a couple of days ago. He's going to be using Super Broly and, and I'm just going to get worked on. You will see it through the matches and I'm going to skip some matches so you see what I talk about when I talk about adapting. I get worked on for the first couple of matches and I start adapting to his playstyle and learning how to beat his playstyle. Adapting in video games and fighting games specifically is one of the most frustrating but rewarding things in the world. In my opinion at least. When you're first starting off a fighting game, a lot of people try and start off in training mode, practice a bunch of cool combos, whatever they want to do, right? They find this new character they like, they want to learn all his special moves, his basic moves, what will hurt you, what will poke you, but adapting is what you will use to actually win a match. A lot of people don't actually get into multiplayer at the start or like versus I mean, but I suggest doing it. If you just get into multiplayer and you play some games, I feel like you will learn a lot more than just playing training mode because you're just playing a computer that's standing there. Of course some games, like for example Street Fighter 5 has like options that you can record buttons and if you hit the button, the enemy will do the input that you're doing, but some games don't. So that's why I always suggest using versus mode and just going into versus and just playing the game. Playing the game, you're buying a game, right? You're not buying a game to play in training mode 90% of the time when you first start off the game, but some people do do that. <laughs> now that I'm done my little tangent, like I said, go into versus mode. You go into versus mode, you play a few matches, some matches or some games, you might be like, damn, I'm losing really, really bad. And then people go back into training mode and I think that's really bad. I think the way that you learn is that you play some matches, you start to pick up on little things, focal points, or things that you're just like, oh, I did this right here, I should be doing this. And then that's when you start to adapt, right? Adapting is great, for example, in Dragon Ball Fighters. So I started Dragon Ball Fighters about a year ago of a couple of friends just for fun, just playing around, messing around, and I just bought on my PS4 for the first time because I had it on PC before, and I went to some matches I've been not playing for about a couple of months. I was like, damn, I'm really rusty. But one thing I liked about Dragon Ball Fighters is it's it's a semi-easy game to pick up for just a casual person, right? You just you have your auto combos, you have your you know your special moves, you know everything, right? It's basic, it's put down there in the command list, right? And it's really fun. It's a beautiful game. Um, but if you're playing ranked or something and you're trying to rank up, you start to realize, man, I'm losing really bad. Why am I losing this game? You know, it might be because you're not doing 2H enough, or you're not countering beam assist, stuff like that, you know? Or you're super dashing too much and your opponent is realizing it, so they're just 2Hing. I noticed that in this gameplay that you're watching right now, is that I started to just dash, or the guy just started to dash a lot, and I wasn't blocking the dash, right? I mean, I was blocking the dash, but I wasn't doing anything to prevent the dash and him getting, you know, pressure, right? So I started to adapt and realize, oh, maybe I should start 2-H'ing before matches, or 2-H'ing when he's dashing, because he, you know, he doesn't really expect that, right? So, I start doing that, and I'm like, dude, I've been doing this for the past couple of matches, you gotta, like, learn to adapt. And that's one thing I feel like fighting game players get frustrated with, is they don't sometimes just sit down and like, oh, okay, maybe I should be doing this or doing this differently, because new players sometimes they just like to button mash and that's a-okay I do that all the time too I'm not a new player but I still button bash I will admit to it 100% but some people just you know they just button mash and they'll sit down and realize it but I feel like once you realize what you're doing and you're like oh this opponent is doing this move to beat me why am I getting frustrated maybe I should take a step back and think for a bit you know adapting is key if you want to win games if you learn to adapt in certain situations, you will 100% get better at the game. There's been instances where a lot of other YouTubers or fighting game community or FGZ people talk about adapting and losing, right? So a big thing about losing in fighting games is that, man, it sucks to lose when you first hop on a game. Hop on a game. When I first hopped on Street Fighter V, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just losing nonstop. And losing sucks, like losing absolutely sucks, and it makes you not want to play a game. Trust me, I've done it before. I've dropped certain games because I lost so much, and that's before I knew, hey, maybe losing isn't a bad thing. You don't have to hate losing, you could just, you just know you have to go through it. 
And that's a big thing about fighting games is you have to accept the fact that, hey, you're going to lose a lot when the game first starts or when you first start a game. That's just normal. A lot of people lose. You're not going to, if you see like Daigo or someone like that, when they first started Street Fighter, whatever Street Fighter they started on, right? No disrespect, Daigo. I just don't remember which one you started on. But when they first started the game, do you think they won every single match in the world or became one of the best in their game? No, they lost every single match in their first match, probably. And that's okay. It happens to everyone. It happens to me. It happens to you. It happens to freaking Maximilian dude or whoever you watch on YouTube. You know, it, it, it happens, man. You, It just happens to everyone. Losing is a big part of fighting games, and it goes hand-in-hand -hand with adapting. If you lose, you might not be adapting too much, or if you are adapting, you may not lose as much. Losing will teach you things that you wish you knew. If you lose a lot, you might realize, hey, I should be doing this or doing that, or hey, maybe I should learn a different character or try something else, you know? Basically, what I'm just trying to say in this video is that if you want to learn to get better at a fighting game, you have to lose to learn how to adapt. Losing is okay, you shouldn't be scared of it. It just happens. It's reality, it's life. Any any player, Sonic Fox, freaking Wawa, whoever you watch, they lose a lot when they first started playing fighting games, and that's okay. Everyone shouldn't be afraid about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you did watch or listen, Sorry for this podcasting type of video. I kind of like it though. I sh do you guys think I should do more of these? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys do subscribe and leave a like if you did enjoy this video. I'm trying to upload a lot more. More DBZ and stuff like that. I'm going to have more content on the channel soon. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and a happy new year.